Hello students, Vinaya ma'am here. Today we are going to discuss about the chapter structure of atoms. Before moving on to the details, first we'll have an over review of uh, what led to the development of identification of atoms. We find that scientists over the years have been working on finding out what is present in matter. In this regard, the first person who tried this idea was John Dalton. John Dalton in the year 1809 through his atomic theory considered atom to be indivisible. So atoms derive its name from the word atomio means indivisible. At that time they believed that atoms are indivisible in nature. It cannot be further divided. Later certain experiments with discharge tubes led to the discovery of some particles present within the atom and they are electrons, protons and neutrons. Now that science has advanced far beyond these discoveries, you find that recently they have discovered around 12 fundamental sub subatomic particles in atom. However, in 11th standard, we just restrict to the fundamentals and there we will be learning more about it. Atomic theory was put forward by the scientist named John Dalton. So what does atomic theory state? It states that all Matter is made up of indivisible particles called atoms. He considered atoms as hard, dense, indivisible particles of matter. But later experiments with discharge tubes Discharge tube experiments led to the discovery of the uh, subatomic particles like electrons, protons and neutrons. The figure illustrates the discharge tube experiment. Here you find that the discharge tube is mounted to a battery through the electrodes. We have two types of electrodes, the positively charged anode and the negatively charged electrode called the cathode. We are filling in gas which is at very low pressure and we are applying high voltage to it. So we find that some invisible rays originate from the cathode and starts moving towards the anode. That means these are negatively charged rays starting from the cathode moving towards the anode. These were called as cathode rays. Later they were identified to be made up of negatively charged particles known as electrons. These electrons were discovered by J.J. Thomson. I have drawn a simple illustration of the discharge tube. The discharge tube consists of a long glass tube in which it is mounted with two electrodes. The one which is connected to the positive side of the battery becomes the anode whereas the one which is connected to the negative side becomes the cathode. So we have two different types of electrodes one which is positively charged which is known as the anode and we have cathode at the opposite 
end. So you find that if a gas is filled in here and if the pressure is one atmosphere, there occurs no flow of any uh, particles inside but as as we just decrease the pressure to a very low value and when we apply high voltage it is found that it emits certain radiations inside and these radiations are found or these are producing some particles which are or rays that are starting from the anode moving towards the cathode and they will penetrate through the perforated cathode and so you find that these uh, particles are having positive charges and later on these were found to be made up of positively charged particles known as protons. This was discovered by Goldstein. Later in the year 1932, James Chadwick did a chemical reaction by taking beryllium atom, beryllium sheet with atomic number 4 and mass number 9 was subjected to alpha particles so you find that these alpha particles are nothing but positively charged rays which are composed of helium nucleus helium is he with atomic number two and mass number four so you find that when alpha particles are bom bombarding the beryllium nucleus it results in the formation of carbon with atomic number 6 and mass number 12 and then you find that according to the law of conservation of mass nothing is created nothing is destroyed it is only changing from one form to another so based on that you find that there will be the release of a particle which is having no atomic number but mass is unity and that was identified to be as neutrons so neutrons are neutral particles which are having mass and this was discovered by the scientist named james chadwick so when alpha particles are bombarding the beryllium nucleus, it results in carbon and neutron. So discoveries over the years helps to identify the behavior of the subatomic particles like electrons, protons and neutrons. Electrons were discovered by the scientist named J.J. Thompson and it is having carrying a negative charge and the charge on it is negative 1.6022 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs with mass 9.109 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilograms. Whereas protons which are positively charged were discovered by the scientist named E. Goldstein and it carries a similar charge to that of electrons but it is opposite to that so it carries a charge of plus 1.6022 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs and the mass is heavier than the mass of new uh, electrons it is said to be 1.6738 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms whereas neutrons discounts discovered by the scientist named J james chadwick identified that it is neutral in nature carrying no charge and then you find the mass is 1.6748 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms. Neutrons discovered by the scientist named J James Chadwick 
identified that it is neutral in nature carrying no charge and then you find the mass is 1.6748 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms now the question is how to arrange these subatomic particles in the atom and in this regard the first model that was proposed was thomson's plum pudding model the plum pudding model explains the neutrality of the atom but it doesn't account for the other properties of the atom and so it was later on discarded so in plum pudding model it uh, it explains atom to be made up of positively charged spheres in which electrons are embedded unevenly just like plums in a cake out of these subatomic particles you find that the atoms consist of a positively charged core which is known as the nucleus and within the nucleus you find the subatomic particles named protons and neutrons so protons and neutrons together they are known as nucleons so nucleons are composed of positively charged protons and neutral neutrons and electrons are found to revolve around the nucleus in certain definite paths which were called as orbits or energy levels the a better model was proposed by the scientist named Ernst Rutherford and it was called as Rutherford's atomic model or Rutherford's nuclear model so this becomes relevant because it is the first model which explains the nucleus in the atom so according to the this model this was developed by doing the experiments with gold foil and later on they developed the new model called rutherford's model of atom wherein you find that the centrally placed core consists of positively charged sphere and this is mostly due to the presence of protons in it and you find that electrons are moving around in the nucleus in different spiral path so you find that this is your second model of atom but this also had a lot of demerits and so you find that if according to rutherford's model electrons are moving spirally so uh, if these electrons are negatively charged it will be continuously moving around and it will be continuously attracted by the positively charged nucleus which will lead to the falling of the electrons into the nucleus so by the time the rutherford model was explained uh, the scientists name maxwell come with a new theory about radiations and that is known as electromagnetic theory accordingly a charged particles will have acceleration continuously and it will dissipate energy or it will release energy with the result the electrons when which are charged particles when they keep on moving in continuous manner in a spiral path it should fall into the nucleus that that will not explain the stability of the atom so this model also was discarded and later on a new model was developed and that is known as the neil bose model or bohr model of atom so in 11th standard we will be concentrating more on 
the new model which is known as the bohr model of atom so actually in the 11th standard portion begin with bohr model of atom which we'll be dealing with with in the next video